As far as communicating in China, I took a semester of Chinese before I went, um, so I wasn't completely lost, but I definitely had my instances where I just had to smile and walk away um, <laughs> because I didn't completely understand. But um, I had an electronic dictionary, and a lot, or the majority of the people were nice enough where if I didn't understand or I knew I wanted something, I could type it in my dictionary, show them the character, and they, you know, help me out. Um, most people are really nice. And as far as transportation, um, it took me a little bit to get used to the, the lack of personal space over there. Um, being crammed into like sardines and, and subway systems and buses, that was exciting. Um, so a lot of walking, um, similar to a lot of other countries, walk everywhere. Um, and you could take a taxi, you could take a bus, um, you could take the, the guys that pedal uh, the the little bicycles behind you, but oftentimes they try and charge you more than what um, you really wanted. So usually walking, um, so you definitely get your exercise, but you need to be careful, especially in Beijing with the amount of drivers and really no uh, like road signals or laws. Um, it's easy to get in the way of people and they'll let you know um, when, you're, when you're in your way. Um, but just, just be careful. Um, there's always different routes of, of like traveling, and you can usually um, get anywhere you want to, but I strongly support using the buddy system at all times when you do go out of the school. Um, and I think most of uh, everyone else would agree with me on that. So if you do travel and if you do commute somewhere outside of the city, just use the buddy system and you won't have a problem.